Today we're going to test another Plus D amplifier board This one claims to be 500 watts By RS2092 As you can see this board is pretty small It can fit in, the, in my palm And we'll be using this power supply here This is a symmetrical 65 volts power supply this is the board here, it costs about £4.31 yes. IRS2092 board okay, We're going to test the board with our usual load here, this is uh, 8 ohms, 6 ohms and 4 ohms load We have now the board connected, we have our power supply here, we have our oscillator here, we have our 8 ohms load, dummy load Let's turn it on. Let's check our power supply. So that is our power supply, around 130 volts from rail to rail. 65 volts, the negative rail. 65.8 on the positive rail. <coughs> the power supply is pulling around 6, 6 watts without any load. I mean without any input from the... Without any input on the amp. Three bolts pick to pick. Okay, let's increase the input to the amp. Okay, it looks like that is the maximum voltage output pick to pick of the amp 136 volts pick to pick let's look at the thd distortion or at the three percent range so that's around 1.4 percent 136 volts 1.4 percent so this is our results, 136 volts pick to pick, 1.4% THD. I'll be back after I change this to 6 ohms load. Okay, so I have connected the 6 ohms load, the 6 ohms dummy load here. So let's increase the input to the amp. Looks like the the amp is shutting down. Looks like it does not like the six ohms load. As you can see here, the output is shutting down. There is no output here. So the pump is shutting down here. Yeah, so <coughs> this amp is no good for 6 ohms load. Let's check the it's stable maximum output at 6 ohms load. So looks like that is the maximum power output. At 6 ohms load before the arm shuts down around 
73 volts peak to peak 72.8 round of 273 <coughs> Let's look at the distortion looks like the distortion is pretty low that's one percent range so okay, so it's more than 0.1 that's around 0.02 percent maximum stable output is around 72.8 ok so this is the results for 6 ohms load 111 watts RMS at 0.2% distortion THD at 8 ohms we have 289 watts RMS at 1.4% THD now we're gonna do 4 ohms load ok this is 4 ohms load that's our 4 ohms dummy load <clears throat> looks like the amp is shutting down at 48 volts speed to peak output as you can see here it's flat lining here It looks like the output is stable at around 44 volts. Pick to pick. So it looks like this is the maximum voltage output to pick of the amp before it shuts down. Before it starts to shut down. Okay, so that's our THD. We're at the 1% range. It's around. 0.24 percent it's actually not stable at 44 volts to pick up it's shutting down that's about 43 volts <coughs> the distortion THD is still the same around 0.24 percent <coughs> okay so this is our final results for ohms load 43 volts pick to pick let's see how much is that 43 divided 2.828 square divided 4 about 58 watts RMS at 4 ohms load the results now 58 watts RMS at 4 ohms load 0.24% THD so this <coughs> this board do not like uh, 4 ohms load and the output at 6 ohms is also a bit lower at 111 watts RMS 0.2% THD and uh, the highest output is at 8 ohms load at 289 watts RMS at 1.4% HD. <clears throat> okay, so that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. See you next time.